Hello friends, welcome back to Technique and today we will be doing a quick speed test comparison of the newly launched iPhone 15 Pro with the last year's iPhone 14 Pro. Now there are some changes uh, in terms of hardware, some changes in terms of uh, features. So we will be doing a quick speed test to see if there is any performance difference uh, or other a noticeable performance difference. Of course the Apple's A17 Pro Bionic uh, is more powerful by, than the A16 Bionic. That's, uh, that's pretty evident because each each year the performance is improved but is it noticeable for a regular user in terms of app opening time in terms of benchmark scores the memory management that's what we're going to talk about in this video so we have the iphone 15 pro with the apple's a17 pro bionic and we have the uh, iphone 14 pro with the a16 bionic now both of these devices have ios 17 so let's get started so before that if this is your first time on the channel do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's begin so we have the two devices the a uh, apple's uh, iphone 15 pro and the 14 pro here so let's just uh, take uh, the general settings so there you go uh, about phone uh, iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro here iOS version is 17.0.2 this is 17 so both are uh, almost same in terms of uh, the software experience now 15 Pro has Apple's A17 Pro Bionic and this has uh, A16 uh, Bionic so that's the difference so let's just uh, clear off all the background apps so there you go we just cleared off all the background apps here as well so there you go now next uh, let's uh, see the network settings so let's just turn off uh, the wi-fi i mean uh, the bluetooth and uh, you can now see that uh, both are connected to the same wi-fi network airplane mode and bluetooth connections are turned off so exact same uh, condition so once again let's just clear off all the background apps so let's start with asphalt 9 so let's see if there is any noticeable difference in terms of asphalt in terms of opening time and also uh, let's see how the memory management is uh, on these two devices so you can see here iphone now 14 pro opened a fraction of a second faster but not by a huge margin next is bgmi or pubg mobile let's open this and see which opens faster So here you can see that uh, 15 Pro was faster, uh, App Store, in fact 15 Pro is faster, Chrome browser, again uh, 15 Pro is uh, faster, Facebook, here you can see that it is uh, 14 Pro that is slightly faster, Twitter, again uh, 15 Pro is faster, Instagram, almost same time I would say. Spotify again 15 Pro is uh, faster Amazon probably almost same time Flipkart 15 Pro is faster file manager again 15 Pro is faster settings 15 Pro is faster YouTube uh, 14 Pro is slightly faster Gmail again 15 Pro is faster camera almost same time and maps again 15 pro is faster so what you could see is uh, 15 pro does have an advantage in terms of opening of apps it is definitely a, a bit faster not by a huge margin actually it's definitely faster because the a17 pro bionic is uh, more faster than the a16 so that's more evident uh, so here uh, the difference is not very huge just some a second or a fraction of a second uh, faster because uh, in real time the performance is so high on even on the a16 uh, bionic uh, that you you don't actually see the improvement in the a17 pro bionic next uh, let's see the memory management of these two devices so how they uh, stack up in the memory so let's open the apps in the reverse order so let's uh, open this in the reverse order so so, so you can see here uh, yeah it's available settings file manager So, so far all the apps are available in the memory. Chrome browser. So now you can see App Store, BGMI again both are available in the memory and Asphalt 9. So you can see here all the apps are available in the memory. So memory management is equally good on these two devices. So no difference whatsoever in terms of memory management. Next let's do the network test. So we have uh, the speed test uh, app 
uh, installed on uh, these two devices so let's uh, see uh, the network here so we are connected uh, both the devices to the same server first let's uh, uh, see the 15 pro so there you go 15 pro In fact, uh, exact same uh, results we have got on both the devices. So there isn't much of a difference here. Next is the Antutu benchmark score. So you, here you can see that uh, the 14 uh, Pro and 15 Pro here. 14 Pro is uh, almost 15 lakh uh, closer to 15 lakh, while the 14 Pro is closer to uh, 13 lakh. In fact, uh, 12 lakh 73 thousand is the score. So here we'll just uh, see here uh, the GPU score has been uh, increased. Uh, again, CPU score is also increased. The other scores are also increased but uh, you can see a GPU and the CPU scores are definitely better here that is where the A17 Pro Bionic and the A16 uh, uh, differ so that's the uh, performance of these two devices in terms of Android to benchmark so let's finally look at the Geekbench test as well so now we have uh, the Geekbench result uh, so you can see here 2899 versus 2564 uh, that's a single core score again uh, multi core score is also uh, higher 7150 versus 6370 so once again you can see that the scores are better on the uh, iphone 15 pro so that's quite evident in terms of benchmarks so that was the performance uh, or rather the speed test and the uh, synthetic benchmark scores of these two devices. So uh, iPhone 14 Pro to iPhone 15 Pro there is definitely an improvement but is it noticeable? No it is this is noticeable unless you are playing a heavy graphic rich game some of the games might have an imp uh, difference because of the GPU performance. So we'll see that uh, in our gaming test so stay tuned for that. So this is normal signing off uh, with a quick speed test comparison of the iPhone 15 Pro with the iPhone 14 Pro. Hope Hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day